never known you to fail You remain the same man Wonderful is your name On the mile I've never known you to fail You remain the same man Wonderful is your name Welcome, Holy Spirit. We are in your presence. Fill us with your power. Live inside of me. Welcome, Holy Spirit. We are in your presence Fill us with your power Live inside of me You're the living water You're the living water the ever-flowing fountain Comforter and counselor Take complete control Welcome Holy Spirit We are in your presence with your power live inside of me welcome Holy Spirit welcome Holy Spirit we are in your presence hallelujah fill us with your power inside of me you're the living water you're the living water the ever flowing fountain hallelujah comforter and counselor take complete control with your power live inside of me hallelujah 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 let me lose myself and find it lord in thee hallelujah let all self be slain my friends see only thee though it costs me grief or pain i will find my life again hallelujah if i lose myself i'll find it lord in thee hallelujah let me lose myself and find it, Lord, in Thee. Hallelujah! Yes, Lord, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Only Thee. Though it costs me grief, and pain I will find my life again
again If I lose myself I'll find it Lord in thee Hallelujah 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 Thank you Lord Thank you Lord Thank you Lord Thank you Lord Hallelujah Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I give the Lord thanks for this opportunity to stand before you. Indeed, I see it as an awesome task. I give God thanks for the grace. Hallelujah, hallelujah, he has afforded me tonight want to greet my bishop, his dear wife, online, First Lady Lisa Marie Freita, all the ministers here, Deacon Taylor, Deaconess Johnson, Missionary Waite, Evangelist Jacqueline Campbell Graham, and my dear wife, Evangelist Cynthia Lowe. God bless you all, saints. I greet you all in the matchless name of Jesus. Indeed, God is a good God. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! No good that I have done to be standing here only because of the mercies of God. Hallelujah! New mercies each day, each morning. New mercies. Hallelujah. As you are standing, turn with me to Romans chapter 6. I'll just read a few verses here from starting from verse 12. Let not sin therefore reign in your mortal body that ye should obey it in the loss thereof. Neither yield ye your members as instruments of unrighteousness unto sin, but yield yourselves unto God as those that are alive from the dead and your members as instruments of righteousness unto God. For sin shall not have dominion over you, for ye are not under the law, but under grace. What then? Shall we sin because we are not under the law, but under grace? God forbid. Know ye not that to whom ye yield yourselves servants to obey, his servants ye are to whom ye obey, whether of sin unto death or of obedience unto righteousness. But God be thanked. That ye were the servants of sin, but ye have obeyed from the heart that form of doctrine which was delivered you. Being then made free from sin, ye became the servants of righteousness. I speak after the manner of men because of the infirmity of your flesh. For as ye have yielded your members servants to uncleanness, and to iniquity unto iniquity, even so now yield your members servants of righteousness unto holiness. For when you were the servants of sin, you were free from righteousness. What fruit had ye then in those things whereof ye are now ashamed? For the end of those things is death. But now being made free from sin and become servants to God, you have your fruits unto holiness and the end everlasting life. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life to Jesus Christ our Lord. Hallelujah. We thank the Lord for his words tonight. We honor it by saying, the mouth and the meditation of our hearts be acceptable in thy sight. Lord, my strength and my redeemer. 
Bishop, could you breathe a word of prayer for me, sir? Heavenly Father, I want to give you a thank. We thank God for this opportunity for tonight that you've allowed us to come in your house where we can be fed with your word. We thank you for journey and mercies. We thank God for the opportunity to lift our hands in the sanctuary. Father, our hearts are indicted in a good matter. And even now that your servant is standing on the sacred desk to speak to our hearts, yet again we ask God for your anointing. We ask God Almighty to give him extra grace tonight that he will be able to share his word, the word that you have given him with clarity and with power. We ask God that your spirit will move in this room. We pray, God Almighty, that we will receive that which you have for us tonight, that it will set somebody free. Somebody will be delivered. Somebody will find life in you. So we thank you even now, Heavenly Father, that you put things in order and allow God Almighty this word to come to our hearts, even for those that are on social media. I pray, God Almighty, there will be no difference tonight that the word will penetrate your heart. And it will be a blessing. We ask God Almighty that you will comfort him even now. We pray God Almighty. And allow him to know that you stand with him in the place that he is. That he can speak to us. He's chosen for this hour. And we pray your will be done. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Let's start. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Bishop. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We have just read from Romans. You may be seated. God bless you. From Romans chapter 6. And this book of Paul to the Romans is a very significant one. Here Paul explores the significance of Christ's sacrificial death. This book is considered one of his greatest work. It is one of his longest epistles. And in it he had laid the foundation that mankind is guilty before a just and righteous God. He has laid the foundation showing us that all humanity is trapped in sin and needs to be rescued. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And also that only God's righteousness through Jesus Christ's death and resurrection can rescue us from this trap of sin. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. Praise be to God. If I were to give this uh, theme tonight... Simple one. Are you still believing for the gift? Are you still believing for the gift? In Romans, Paul, having laid out that we are saved through faith in Jesus only. It is not of works. Hallelujah. It is a system of faith that we are saved through Jesus Christ. And in it he has seek to answer some questions as he goes along laying this case of salvation unto us. We can look where he talks about the law. If you can turn to Romans chapter 3. See, having learned that we are saved by faith, then persons will ask, then why was the law necessary? Hmm? Why is then the law necessary for us? Now, the law is necessary for us so that we are not ignorant of what God's requirements are. And here, in Romans chapter 3, verse 23, 
It reads, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Being justified freely by his grace through the redemption that is in Jesus, Christ Jesus. Whom God has set forth to be appropriation through faith in his blood. To declare his righteousness for the remissions of sins that are past through the forbearance of God. To declare, I say, at this time, his righteousness, that he might be just, and the justifier of him which believeth in Christ. Where is boasting then? It is excluded. By what law? Of works? Nay, but the law of faith. Therefore we conclude that man is justified by faith. Without the deeds of the law. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Is he the God of the Jews only? Is he not also of the Gentiles? Yes, of the Gentiles also. Seeing it is one God which shall justify the circumcision by faith and uncircumcision through faith. Do we then void the law through faith? God forbid, yea, we establish the law. So here it is clearly stated that we establish the law. We don't do away with it. I, I was, I was, we, we have our traffic laws. And we know that Ignorance is not an excuse for the law, right, drivers? We must know the law. Right? And we, we drive every day with, with an understanding that we should obey the road code and obey the laws of the land. Right? We don't we don't we don't go around trying to circumvent and do what we think is a we see the red light and we don't try to go through it same way we obey right even when there is no vehicles coming we still obey mm -hmm. so paul is saying here even though we are saved by faith the law is there for us to recognize our sin we must be conscious of what sinning sin is because the scripture says where there is no law we can't impute any sin right so the law must be established to set forth what god requires of us now along the way he also answers question regarding abraham so what about abraham some may say it was his obedience. He was obedient to God. So that is so so some persons would want to say it is through his obedience why God recognized what he had done. But clearly the scripture says that Abraham believed God and it was counted to him for righteousness. Now, I want to, to look at what it is that God said to Abraham. So, Genesis 15. Let's take. Genesis 15. After these things, the word of the Lord came unto Abraham in a vision, saying, Fear not, Abraham. I am thy shield and thy exceeding great reward. And Abraham said, Lord God, what wilt thou give me, seeing I go childless? And the steward of my house is this Eliezer of Damascus. And Abraham says, Behold, to me thou hast given no seed, 
And lo, one born in my house is mine here. And behold, the word of the Lord came unto him, saying, This shall not be thine here, but he that shall come forth out of thine own bowels shall be thine here. And he brought him forth abroad and said, Look now towards heaven and tell the stars if thou be able to number them. And he said unto him, So shall thy seed be. And he believed in the Lord and he counted it to him for righteousness. So here we have Abraham. Mighty God. Childless. Up in age. Past where you think he should be having children. Sarah's wife. Very whole. Past childbearing age. But the Lord is saying to him. Look on the stars then. You know your God said go look. How woolly poor they. Woolly. Hmm? And him says, so shall your seed be. Now, I want us to grab a hold of this, what, what has been told to Abraham. Now, we understand how biology works. Right? And we know there's a, a cut off time for women to be having children. Hmm? And even men after a certain age, certain things start happening. We, we, we're not seeing certain things moving as it ought to. I'm getting old, so I can't talk. Yes. But anyway. So, can you imagine <laughs> that Abraham is at this age and the scripture says he believed God. Hmm? So, I, I, this type of faith is, is you believing what God says. Believing what God says. Despite the evidence to the contrary. And acting upon that belief. Because I know that Abraham acted upon it. Right? Because I, I believe Sarah gets so tired of him trying with her. that She said, look here, take, take, take here, God. Because nothing is going on for me right now. Right? She's. Hmm? Mighty God of Daniel. Hmm? But he believed God despite the evidence, despite the, the age, everything going against what should naturally happen. But he hold on to where God said. Hmm? That is faith. Hmm? He act upon that belief. Mighty God. We are called to also believe. Just like Abraham. We are called to believe. Just like Abraham. It is by faith. You know what is so unique about this stage of Abraham's life? That... At this point, there is no Jewish people. So Abraham is a Gentile. But the promise was made unto him. That's why we who are Gentiles today, if we believe, hallelujah, we too can be in the sonship, hallelujah, in the hear of Abraham, eh? Mighty God. What it is that God has promised unto us. We just read in Romans. Verse 23. There is a promise there. Hmm? Let's read about that promise. Hmm? There is a gift for us. But now being made free from sin and become servants to God. You have your fruits unto holiness. And the end everlasting life. For the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God. Is eternal life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. 
There is a promise unto us. Hmm? There is a promise unto us. There is a promise of resurrection. Hmm? But that goes against everything that we are seeing now. Hmm? Anybody here ever see anybody dead? Get up back. There's no evidence. No, there's no story. We, we, we know some people try to pray, play tricks on us with some actors in, in, in coffins. Right? And some big prominent pastors try to, to fool the world that they are raising people from the dead. Hmm? But Contrary to the evidence, we have not in our lifetime seen anybody being raised from the dead. So we have no evidence of people being raised. And he's still alive. Hmm? We, we, see, we see in the scriptures, Lazarus was called forth. But believe you me, Lazarus died again. And he never get up back. Hmm? But the resurrection and the life did it so that you can believe. Hallelujah. Hmm? He being the first one that is resurrected and is alive today. Hmm? He is the resurrection and the life. He so said, you must believe on me. Hmm? So we are called to believe just like Abraham today. Another question that Paul dealt with. Right? Was what the system of salvation do for us. And when we look in chapter 5. Right away there are many benefits that the believer will gain by the, by the justification by faith. It says in verse 1 we have peace with God. Through our Lord Jesus. Mighty God. Hmm? By whom we also have access by faith into this grace wherein we stand. And what? Rejoice in hope of the glory. So we have joy through our experience. Hallelujah as believers. Mighty God. Here it says. And not only so but we glory in tribulations also. Knowing that tribulation worketh patience, and patience experience, and experience hope, and hope make it not a shame, because the love of God, hallelujah, glory to God. So that's another benefit. The love of God hmm, is shed abroad in our hearts. Hmm? Mighty God, by, by the Holy Ghost, which is given unto us. So that's another benefit. The spirit. Hallelujah. Mighty God. Mighty God. I thank you Lord. Hmm? We also have assurance. Hmm? There is assurance. Let me go to the scripture. Let me not use my words. Let's use what the word of God says. For when we were yet without strength. In due time. Christ died for the ungodly. For scarcely for a righteous man will one die. Yet peradventure for a good man some would even dare to die. But God commended his love towards us. In that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Much more than being now justified by his blood, we shall be what? Saved from wrath. Through him. Because we established that. There is a judgment coming. All have sinned. Right? R Paul is here establishing. Every, every, every one of us. We have fallen short. And the righteous God. There is going to be a judgment. For all. But he has put in place a plan for us. Hallelujah. This great plan of salvation. That we can escape the wrath of God. So much benefits he has given us. Not to mention reconciliation. Mm, hallelujah. Glory to God. Mm, 
bring us back to that place that we first, he first had when he walked in the garden with Adam. Hmm? He walked and talked with him. Hmm? We are now able to be reconciled with God, to have a relationship. Hallelujah, mighty God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We can have a relationship with God. Hmm? No more we have to go to the priest to, 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 to tell him what is it our needs are to pray for us and go in and offer sacrifice. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hmm? We can go directly to the throne of grace. Hallelujah. We have access. Mighty God, I thank you. Hallelujah. Hmm? And of course, eternal life is there for us. So now, Paul is looking at this question now. What about sin and grace? Hmm? If, if, if grace is so much more than sin, why, why, why we can't continue therein? Now in, in, in verse 1 of chapter 6. What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? God forbid. How shall we that are dead to sin live any longer therein? Know ye not that so many of us as were baptized into Jesus Christ... We're baptized into his death. So Paul here is, is looking at the occasion, that point in our life when we were plunged in water baptism. He's saying a special thing happened at baptism. Hallelujah. That we are dead to sin. Now, I want to look at a couple of these deaths. Because we, we, I, I think sometimes we, we, we don't look at the importance of the baptism. And maybe when we are encouraging persons because of that lack of understanding and the importance of baptism we might not really they might not not catch that message that you you're trying to send to them baptism represents the death of ignorance to sin that's the first death you know wrong and right that is, you're convicted, you go down in water, but you know that there's a way that you should be living. Hmm? So you no longer have no excuse about sin. Because you, you, you're supposed to kill ignorance and want to learn so much more of God. You must grow in grace and the knowledge of God. So after baptism, you want to learn everything. You want to know more of God. So ignorance is dead now. Learning starts increase. Hallelujah. You know the wiles of the devil. You know the things them where he might try. So you increase your knowledge. So ignorance must die. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Mm. There is the death of the lust of the world. Mm. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Mm. No, you see, when you're baptized, God does step in in front of you now, you know. Say so things them where you'd want to run to. You have to check yourself. Hallelujah, because you can't live like that no more. Hmm? Friend, them uh, tell you, say, yeah, man, I keep bachelor party, me, I get married, you know. Why? I'm coming, you know, man. Eh? You have to tell yourself, say, no. Mm -mm. I don't mind something that again. Hallelujah. Glory to God. One time you don't want to run and make sure you say you are the earliest one day, day. But no. It's a different war now. Hmm? So them lusts of the world, them things they were want to crave your attention and no. Them things they're dead now. Hmm? The whole life, hallelujah. 
death to the whole life. So as me said, the things where you would want to run to before. Mm -mm. You have to check yourself. Say, no, no, that's not good for me. New walk, no. Mm -hmm. No, the death of the rule of sin. See, sin used to rule with life. Come on now. Mm? Glory to God. Glory to God. Mm? All when we don't want to do it, we are do it. Because it does, it does run with sure. Eh? Oh, mighty God. Mm? But no, that, that, that rule dead. Christ in the, in the midst now. Eh? Him we are looked to. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Mm? Mm? So no more does sin have any rule over us. Mighty God of Daniel, I thank you, Lord. Mm? And, 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 and the final that I want to mention here is death itself. Mighty God, mighty God, mighty God. Mm? Now, you see, if you are not a believer and you going through your things in this life, how miserable you're going to be? Because that is coming. But we who are believers, we believe that there is a gift of eternal life. Hallelujah. So no matter the situation, we, no matter what comes, we know there is another life. That life eternal. Hmm? Things are going to be different. Eh? If it's in this world, we have hope only. Eh? Eh? With, ev eh? With everything that is happening. We can't find this, we can't find that. Eh? So much things here and there. Hmm? We are so concerned and caught up. But we know there is eternal life for us, the believer. So we are living hope. We now walk like other people and despair. And, and we should not be. Because we are believing in the gift. Hallelujah. So I say to you, are you still believing in the gift? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hmm? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. No, no. You see, I have some questions that we can use as our faith check. And if you are if you are evangelizing, I hope these questions are good for you to use in your evangelistic walk. Now, one of the first question I have as our fear check. Do you believe that God paid it all for your sins? Mm, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do you believe the resurrection of Jesus? Mighty God, mighty God. Have you been baptized and repented of your sins? Expressing your belief in God. Do you believe that you are going to heaven? If everything... If 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 World War Three come no one we we blow up. Hmm? Mighty God. Are you assured that you are going to heaven? This moment. Mighty God, mighty God. Mm. Mighty God, mighty God. Do you believe that God will resurrect you? Now you see, if you have no news against those questions, yes. You're talking to somebody, asking them today, do you have any news for any of these questions? Hmm? Then we, you need to work on your feet. Hmm? And that is why we come into the house of the Lord, to get spiritually strong. Right? Church, is, church, church should be our spiritual gym. Mm, hallelujah! Glory to God! 
Eh? You go to the, you know you go to the regular gym to tone up and take off weight. You do it corporately at the gym, right? Amongst other people, right? Here, right? We're building spiritual muscles corporately. So you come to praise, worship, hallelujah, ah, to hear more of him, to build up your, your, your faith in him. Because it's a faith coming by hearing and the hearing by the word of God. Hmm? So we have some weak ones because they're not coming out as them should to the gym, sir. We have to come at the gym. Hallelujah! I have to come out to the gym, spiritual gym. Hmm? You have to come out to the spiritual gym. Eh? Hmm? Some will say, well, they do them look at tone up at woman. So forth, yeah? But the scripture says, don't forsake eh? the assembling of yourself. And if he tell you, say, don't do it, he means say, uh, are important something. Because mm? we believe the word of God. Hallelujah, glory to God. Eh? Are you still believing for the gift? Eh? Our faith looks up to thee. This song was sung this morning. Mm? My faith looks up to thee. Mm? It's only by faith. This salvation is only by faith. I know, I know how much work you do. But you see, one time you, you say, faith without works is dead. Mm? Having understood what God has done, you no more want to be caught up with sin. And do you say, eh? that's why... He answered the question here in verse 15 again. It, he marks it again, you know. Paul asks again. Hmm? So, so Paul looked at the answer before from what occurred at baptism. Right? I put it to you now that in verse 15, what then? Shall we sin because we are not under the law? But under grace, God forbid, know ye not that to whom you yield yourselves servants to obey, his servants ye are to whom ye obey, whether of sin unto death or of obedience unto righteousness. But God be thanked that you were the servants of sin, but ye have obeyed from the heart that form of doctrine which was delivered you. Being then made free from sin, he became the servants of righteousness. Hallelujah. Hmm? So our new experience is of righteousness. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hmm? So no more we want to be entangled eh, in that yoke. Eh? Our new experience should be said more and more. Me are leaning more. Me are hunger and thirst after me want more of him. Hmm? Because we realize the gift of God. Hmm? Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hmm? And believing for that gift you don't want. Look here. We're not saying that you're not, you won't stumble. Or things won't happen. But you don't lay down there and say, Oh, grace. I, I, I can continue. Yes, grace is enough. No. You eagerly get up and warm, brush off yourself. Because you them something you, you are ashamed of now. You know why be entangled. Because your new life I say righteousness, righteous living. Hmm? You see a better way in our new life. Hmm? That there are so much benefits. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hmm? And you see where Abraham believed God for the promise of his seed from his own loins. Hmm? Right? And Hebrew, Hebrew, let's just look quickly there. Hebrew 11. And I read from verse 8. By faith, Abraham, when he was called to go out into a place which he should after receive for an inheritance, obeyed. And he went out, not knowing whether he went. By faith, he sojourned into the land of promise. As in a strange country, dwelling in tabernacles with Isaac and Jacob. Eh? Man is a nomad. He you know, have no property for himself. Bishop, no one no land. Mm? But God promised him. And him obey. 
So contrary to the evidence. Come in and tell me. No, me no, who no land. Hmm? Mighty God. But he obeyed. Hmm? So we are called to believe and just obey. Hmm? Faith in God. By faith. Oh, mighty God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hmm? The faith walk. Hmm? He said, for he looked for a city which had foundation, whose builder and maker is God. True faith also Sarah herself received strength to conceive seed and was delivered of a child when she was past age because she judged him faithful who had promised. Mighty God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hmm? Let me jump to verse 17. By faith Abraham, when he was tried, offered up Isaac. And he that received the promise, offered up his only begotten son. Of whom it was said that in Isaac shall thy seed be called. Accounting that God was able to raise him up. Mm, even from the dead. From whence also he received him a figure. Hmm? So we believe in that God will resurrect us. Hmm? Hallelujah. He has made a promise unto us. Yes. Hallelujah. And I am holding on to that promise tonight. Yes. And I am believing God for everything that he has said. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And I am encouraging, I'm encouraging you tonight. Believe God. Hallelujah. Believe God. We have, we have in Hebrews... Those persons who have believed God. Yeah. Eh? The, 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 the hall of faith is there. Yeah. Mm? The hall of faith yeah. is there for us to recognize that. Look here. I am in this faith business. This is a, this is a faith business. Eh? Without faith it is impossible to please God. Hallelujah. Glory. So I have to keep on believing. No matter how things want to look. I still believe in. Oh God, the evidence, no evidence, not that they said this are going to happen. But me, I believe God. Hallelujah. Hmm? Are you believing him for the Holy Ghost? Hallelujah. Still believe the promise is yours. Hallelujah. Don't let go of the promise. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hmm? He said, my father, eh? your father has been so evil. No how to give good gifts. Mighty God. Much more the heavenly father. Eh? If you ask him for bread, he nag your snake. Mighty God, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Eh? His word is true. Mm, I can rest upon his word. Eh, I can trust him. Hallelujah. Believe upon him. Don't let him go. He's a faithful God. Hallelujah. Bless his name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Still believe in his promises. His promises are, yea and Amen. Bless you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. 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 Are you believing Jesus for the gift tonight? Uh, the gift of eternal life. The promises of God. They are true. Mighty God. A faithful God. Will we lift up our faith unto him tonight uh, and glorify him uh, knowing he's able to do that which he has promised. Uh, a mighty God, Abraham believed him uh, and he counted unto him for righteousness. Uh, mighty God, mighty God, mighty God. Uh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to God. It's by faith Rahab and her family was they were safe for the yeah. mighty God. They believed in God, the God who led the Israelites out of Egypt. And so when they had when she hid the spies, all the people of Israel, she made a request and it was granted unto her. Glory to God. Exercising faith in the true and living God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Have you been encouraged tonight? Uh, glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Father, we give God thanks for his word of encouragement to our soul, knowing that we come to the spiritual gym. Oh, for our spirit to be well fed. Oh, glory to God. And for us to build some muscles in the word of God, so we take not his house for granted. Somebody magnify him. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As we sing from the Pentecostal hymn, 281. My faith looks up to thee. Glory to God. Evangelist Campbell Graham looks up to thee. Thou Lamb of Calvary. Savior divine. Now hear me while I pray. Take all my guilt away. Oh, let me from this day.
Glory to God. Bless the Lord. Glory to God. Praise the Lord. Bless the Lord. Praise God. Most righteous and eternal Father. Tonight, mighty God, we give you honor, we give you praise. Mighty God, we give you glory, we give you thanks. Mighty God, for the bird, mighty God, that just go forth. Mighty God, I pray, God, to cover him under your blood. Mighty God, we ask you, mighty God, to continue to pour out upon him, God. Lord Jesus, I pray, God, is willing to learn, mighty God. And Father, tonight, mighty God, I ask of you, Lord God, pour out your spirit, mighty God, upon him. Amen. Give him the full understanding, mighty God. Yes, Lord, Lord God, that he becomes a teacher, mighty God. Uh -huh. He loved the word so much, mighty God. Father God, tonight, mighty God, my soul is rejoicing. And Father God, I ask of you, mighty God, just to continue to cover him. Direct his part, yes, mighty Lord. God. Lord God, continue, God, to pour out in him, mighty God. Mighty continue to pour out, mighty God. Hallelujah. That he cannot even contain it, mighty God. Hallelujah. But tonight, mighty God, I pray, God, a special, mighty God, anointing yes, over his Lord. life, mighty God. Father God, too, God. He have his partner with him, mighty God. Mm -hmm. Whatever he do not understand, I pray, God, that she will impart it unto him, mighty Hallelujah. God. That when he stand before your people, mighty God, mm -hmm. you know, he, whatever comes from him, God, it will be a blessing to our Hallelujah. ears and those and then social media. And yes. tonight, mighty God, I pray. Bless each and every one of us tonight, Hallelujah. mighty God. Lord God, we ask you, we do our things that are supposed to take place this coming week mighty God. Lord we ask your blessing. Lord God we ask you to shift the rain mighty God. Let we have dryness mighty God. Father God we pray God. Everything mighty God we put it in your hands and we are continuing to pray mighty God and fast about it mighty God. And tonight Lord we give your honor, we give your praise. Hallelujah. Father God, you know everything. You see all what is taking place, mighty uh -huh. God. But Father God, we trust you and yeah. we believe in you. Yeah. You Hallelujah. say when the enemy come upon us, mighty God, we ask you to lift up our standard yes, tonight, Lord. mighty God. Lord, whatever they are planning, whatever is there, whatever, whatever God they are doing, whatever Hallelujah. they are saying, mighty, mighty God. God. Lord God, we know you are able we know you are that great I am. Yes. We know that you can tear down and put up mighty God. Yes. Father God, tonight, Lord, we just want to humble ourselves before you, mighty God. Yes, Lord. Lord God, just have your way, mighty God. Yes, and Lord. tonight, mighty God, those that are not here and those that are not online, they have missed something, mighty God. Father God, I'd rather be in the house of the Lord more than even at home, mighty God. Mighty Tonight, God. God, is a blessed night. Mighty Father God, God, I've learned so much. And uh -huh. Father God, we just ask you right now, mighty God, to continue to bless us. Father, it's not good when things come upon us, then we find the house of God. We're supposed to pray ahead. Hallelujah. And many times we make promises, yes. like we make a New Year resolution. Lord, you know that mighty when God. this happened, I would never, I will be always in your house. My God. Lying. But tonight, Light mighty God, we are here. Continue to bless God. us. Lord God, cover us under your blood, us, mighty Lord. God. And those that are on social media who are tuning to us, mighty God. Glory Lord God, God, we know that there's a blessing for them, mighty God. Uh -huh. And if there's a sinner, there is a savior. And Hallelujah. tonight, mighty God, and as we're about to go, God, to our several places mighty of God. our board, mighty God, we ask you to continue to go with us, mighty God. Clear, Lord. mighty God. Journey mercies, mighty God. Uh -huh. And Father God, we still continue to ask you your divine blessing over our territory, mighty God. We are cleansing it, mighty God. Mighty All God. what they are saying, it was promised. My God. And whatever is promised, God, we hold it. And yes. we know it must come to pass. Uh -huh. Father God, continue to bless us. And in the week coming up, the days that coming up, mighty God, mighty we God. pray God there will be a success. Yes, and we Lord. pray that there will be sunshine, mighty God. Mighty Have God. your we way tonight, you. mighty God. Uh -huh. As we tell you thanks yes. in your holy name. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We magnify him at all times. Because only he alone 
is worthy to be praised. Come on, lift those hands and give God glory. Hallelujah. Lift those hands and give God glory. Hallelujah. Oh, we give him thanks for a wonderful night in his house another time. Oh, we bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in our mouth. Oh, glory to God, glory to God, glory to God. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to God, glory to God. Hallelujah, let us stand for the benediction. Mighty God, mighty God, mighty God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to God. Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy to the only wise God our Savior to him be glory dominion majesty and power both now and forever amen glory to God Yo, why are we smiling so hard because it's another time for us to gather somebody type in the comments I know his name is wonderful everybody now All of my vows, I've never known you to fail You remain the same man, wonderful is your name All of my life, I've never known you to fail You remain the same 